And here we are for the all-star race here in Charlotte, North Carolina at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is the all-star open and for the Castrol GTX Cup Series on the pole, Dun on the pole, Dunn Laprad. Alongside of him, Jacob Rodriguez. Second row, Andrew Baranda and Richard Anderson, row three. <coughs> Dylan Hughes and Colin Cropley. In row four, Kendrick Walker and Robbie Boggess. Remember, the top two in this All-Star Open will transfer into the All-Star race. 20-lap event here at Charlotte. In what is going to be a huge night of racing. Here they come to the line. And... Green flag waves and the All-Star Open is on. Dunn Lappert takes the lead here. Andrew Baranda runs around the second position in the 11 car. Dylan Hughes in the 32. He, he's in third spot. Here comes Andrew Baranda on the inside for the lead. And he's got it on turn number four. Andrew Baranda leads the first lap. The Denny Hamlin car. Comes Dylan Hughes on the inside of Dunn Lapperett in the 16. He falls back in line, so Lapperett keeps the spot. Hughes in the second. One Chevy in a double zero to David Rudiman car. Tries to take third, and he does take third away. Matthew Haggard in the fourth spot in the sixth car. Follows suit. And here comes Don Lapper about to take the lead back from Andrew Baranda in the 11, and he does take the lead back. So Don Lapper back in the top spot. But remember, these are court drivers, as I said, not qualified into the All Star race. So the top two finishers translate into the All Star race. So it'll be a 13 car field because there, there are 11 races and 11 different winners. So the 11 that won this year, or this season, are automatically into the All-Star race. <clears throat> Which means the rest of the 24 have to compete for the top two spots. Remember, there's still Dunn Lapperin leading the race, but Trey Robertson now moves into second position. Trevor Reinhardt in the 88 car runs third. And here comes Trey Roberts to the inside, the Napa t sh car. And he's got the lead, and Trevor Reinhardt right behind him in the 88. He's won the lead. He goes inside, and we're on board with Trevor Reinhardt. And this is what a driver likes to see in front of him. Nothing. And Reinhardt's going to lead this lap. Yes, he does. Trevor Reinhardt leads the race now. Kendrick Walker now finds the inside lane. He's in the five car. And it's Kendrick Walker to the top spot now. And following him is Aaron Reed in the 78. Down back in the turn number one they come. Drivers claw awful close to the wall. Some of them are. Here comes Aaron Reed to the inside to 78, and he's got the top spot. Kendrick Walker gives up the number one spot now, and now he's got one Chevy in the double zero. Right there behind in the second spot. Or about to take second. And here comes Derek Walker in the 26. And he's got third with the help of the 25 of John Douglas, who now tries to take third. Right behind him, Alexander Dawson, Andrew Baranda in the 11, and Jasmine Acosta in the 48. Now it's John Douglas in the third spot. Here comes Juan Chevy to the inside in the Aaron's Dream Machine. He's got second, but who, but how long? John Douglas to the inside of the 25 car. The 
Ken Schrader plays game Retro 1990. Halfway through the All-Star Open. Or close to halfway, I think. Here comes one Chevy back to the inside, the double zero, the Aaron Street Machine. And he shoves John Douglas up high, and now one takes the top takes the second spot back. Here comes Andrew Baranda in the eleven. And he helps one Chevy to the second spot, but I think he might take second for his own, and yes he does, maybe. Aaron Reed still leads the race row, by the way, in a 78 car, the furniture row machine. That's the Regan Smith car. And Andrew Baranda takes the number two spot now. Look from the back of Andrew Bar looking for the back of Aaron Reed's car. That's how far he is ahead of, Aaron, of Andrew Baranda in the 11. Laps closing down. Remember, as I said, the top two spots translate into the All Star race. And there's Dylan Hughes in the 32. He's got the number. He's got the second, third position now, but how long? Kendrick Walker to the inside now. He tries to take third with the help of Matthew Haggard in the sixth car. And Kendrick Walker goes, dives to the inside, the number five GoDaddy car, and he's alongside of Dylan Hughes now. Dylan's not making it easy for him for that third spot, but he's giving it up now. <coughs> Kendrick Walker in the third. There's Dylan Hughes, and look who's behind him, the Jennifer Jo Cobb car of Josh Osborne. He's making a strong bid late in the going. He started way back in the back. He's going to try to take the number five spot, or number four spot away from Dylan Hughes, and he's got it. So move Josh Osborne in the fourth spot. There's Andrew Baranda in third. Kendrick Walker takes second. Aaron Reed still continues to pace the field. Five to go. Down the back stretch they come. The top four spots have pulled somewhat away. Now they're going to fight for the top two transition spots. Kendrick Walker making a bit of a charge here on Aaron Reed. He knows it's go time now, but on the other hand, as a he may not, he's trying. But on the other hand, he might, on the other hand, he might um, risk himself himself a spot in the All Star race because here comes Josh Osborne. He's closed in on on Kendrick Walker now in the five. There's the front three, two Chevys and a Ford. There's Josh Osborne right there on the back bumper of, Ken of Kendrick Walker. And here he comes to the inside. This is for second. Josh Osborne tries to make the move on Kendrick Walker. Walker shuts the doors briefly because Osborne dives inside into out of turn four. He's got second. I believe that was two to go. This time by, but Kendrick Walker's not is going to try to cross over, move on the inside. Osborne goes high, and here comes Kendrick Walker to the inside for the number two spot. But Osborne's got the help from the 16 car of, or actually, uh, actually got hurt from the 16 car of Dunn Laprid. Aaron Reed continues to pace the field. I believe that may have been the white flag. Can Kendrick Walker hold on to that number two spot? Appears Aaron Reed's got the sh too strong of a card to run the catch. 
Because here they come at turn number four. And Aaron Reed has won the All-Star Open. And Kendrick Walker finishes second. So Aaron Reed and Kendrick Walker will transfer into the All-Star race. Third place goes to Dunn Laprid. Red fourth to Trey Roberts. Fifth, Josh Osborne, who is so close to making it in. <clears throat> Matthew Haggard, Trevor Reinhardt, Adam Chambers, Zed Weinstein, and Richard Anderson, the top ten. And here's the rest of the running order. There, Matthew Rodriguez, Andrew Barando, Juan Chevy, Dylan Hughes, Jasmine Acosta, John Douglas, who was right up there for a, a little while, Robbie Bogus, Derek Walker, Dalton Day, Ryan Cooper, Colin Cropley, jo Jacob Rodriguez, Alexander Dawson, and Trey Campbell. Unfortunately for him, matches his car number, finishes dead last. So, so but Aaron Reed transfers in the All Star. We'll be back with the All Star event after this.